Hello everyone, Miss Abraham here, and today is Wednesday, May 27th, 2020. Today we're going to review our pronouns, ask and answer questions, and then look at some new vocabulary words that will help us with the last story we're reading. Let's get started. So here are some pronoun examples, and I'm going to show you a picture, and I want you to tell me what pronoun goes along with that picture. Let's take a look. This is a dog, and you would say it. If you know who the dog is, you can say she, um, but in our case, we'll say it is listening to music. This is a group of people, so you would say they. They are part of a band. They. This is one man, so you would say he. He is singing. This is one girl or one woman, so you would say she. She is posing for the picture. Another concept that we are learning is about conversations. And when you have a conversation with someone, you need to know how to ask and answer questions. It would be silly if you were having a conversation with someone and they asked you a question and you just didn't say anything or didn't respond. So um, how to ask and answer questions, you can use the words do or does to start a question. So do you live near the coast? You can answer a do or does question with a yes or a no. So this example says, no, I don't live by the water. And you can also give a short or long answer to a do or does question, rather than just saying no for the question of living near the coast, there, the response was, no, I don't live by the water. They could say, I live inland more. So this is just an example of how to ask and answer questions. So I'm going to show a photo and you can pause the video, but what I want you to look at is um, maybe a question you would ask looking at the specific photograph. So you could ask, what is, why is, where, how did, when, does, or do you think? And these are all questions that you can ask about maybe this specific photograph. So you could ask, why are the windows boarded up? What happened here? When did this happen? Where do you think everyone is safe? Um, did this happen because of a natural disaster? Um, kind of going along with our theme about natural disasters for this unit. So these are all different questions that you could ask about um, this photograph. Rather than looking at it and just saying, oh, I see this and I see this, take a step back and make sure to ask rather than just make an assumption about what happened. So going along with our natural disasters, we're going to learn some new vocabulary today. And if you need to, you can pause the video so you can read further about the word. But I'll go ahead and repeat them and tell you what they are. Evacuate. To evacuate means to leave or to get out. Evacuate. Fortunate. Someone who is fortunate is lucky. Fortunate. Future. The future is what will happen in the time to come. So it hasn't happened yet. 
future. Hurricane. A hurricane is an ocean storm with strong winds. Hurricane. Levee. A levee is a structure that keeps a river from flooding. Levee. Necessity. A necessity is an item that someone needs. Necessity. Severe. Something that is severe is very dangerous or serious. Severe. Untouched. Something that is untouched is not changed or hurt in any way. Untouched. That's all I have for you today. So if you are in my classroom, you'll have an assignment that goes along with conversations as well as review and the vocabulary words that we just learned. Thanks so much, and I hope you have an awesome day.